when it comes to understanding cancer on a molecular level, understanding the mechanisms of, of, of development and progression, I think we're still scratching the surface. However, I, I think the, the clinical efforts now being done within metabolomics to make clinical applications of the technology um, could make it possible to have um, methods that could be used to stratify patients to certain treatments, to, to monitor their response at an early time point in the treatment course, or even to say something about the patient's prognosis. Within cancer treatment now, there is now increasing focus towards targeted treatment. Uh, and that means you, you really need to know beforehand, before the patient is receiving treatment, what treatment would have the best benefit for this patient. One molecular level, for example, the gene expression level is not enough. And our studies um, really indicate that a metabolic profile is able to, to subtype breast cancer uh, in a similar fashion to how gene expression does. We know that the metabolic profile can, uh, can predict hormonal status, which is an important prognostic and predictive factor in, in breast cancer, for example. I think uh, there are several improvements through the last decades and uh, one thing is, um, is uh, the accessibility to 600 megahertz systems as a, as a kind of a standard system for metabolomics analysis. You need the whole cascade where metabolomics is the, is the downstream level of this, close to the phenotype that you are investigating. So in this sense, I think uh, NMR spectroscopy it has a central role to, to further research and, and possible clinical use in, in personalized medicine.